What does a combination lock like this one have to do with your employability factor and career progress? Well, it all has to do with something that my husband and I like to call career multipliers. Over the past decade between us, we've interviewed, coached, and mentored hundreds of professionals, ranging from graduates to executive level leaders. While each had their own unique career path and personal journey, we noticed a common thread among those who had progressed faster and more successfully than their peers. They all leveraged their unique combination of career multipliers. So in this video, we're going to share with you how this little known strategy of tapping into career multipliers could significantly accelerate your career advancement, improve your employability and increase your earning capacity. By the way, feel free to read our article on Forbes, which this video is based on. We've included a link in the description. Hi, I'm Shade Zarai, and I help professionals to hack their careers, overcome their limiting beliefs, and confidently create the extraordinary life they deserve. First off, let's address what career multipliers mean and how they metaphorically relate to the humble combination lock. There is a very good reason why combination locks ship with at least three dials that are usually numbered from zero to nine. One or two dials aren't secure enough because they're just too easy to crack. One in 10 or one in 100 odds aren't great. But adding just one more dial increases the odds tenfold to one in 1,000. Definitely better for securing your valuables. So we'd like you to consider your marketable qualifications, your skills and your strengths as wheels in a combination lock. How you combine these can determine how valuable you are in the marketplace. One wheel could be an accounting degree, the second CPA, the third an auditing certificate. But here's the thing, how many other accountants are probably equipped with the same type of qualifications? You would never dream of setting your combination lock to 555 or 777. That would be foolish and unsafe. But we see this exact same approach in the competitive job market where hundreds of thousands of accountants, software developers, legal practitioners, and almost every other role title, all vying for better jobs, limiting themselves to common and predictable combinations of qualifications and skills. So unless they're in that upper fifth percentile of talented performers, they'll struggle to stand out. A much wiser approach is to set a combination like 914 or 703, in other words, to strategically select a combination of unique marketable skills that differentiate you in exponential increments. So let's take Warren Buffett, for example, one of the most successful investors in the world. To overcome his fear of uh, public speaking as a young man, he registered for Dale Carnegie's public speaking course, which he later shared was the best investment he ever made. Coupled with his skill in writing, he developed a rare marketable combination that allowed him to communicate complex financial concepts in a way that was persuasive to the layperson, multiplying his influence. Where other financial experts struggled to communicate effectively, Buffett became a master given his unique career combination luck. These were his career multipliers. Early on in my own corporate career at a Fortune 500, I inadvertently leveraged the skills of public speaking and facilitation in my own combination lock that accelerated my progress and earning capacity far beyond my law and psychology degrees alone. One other additional wheel was leveraging negotiation skills that I learned during my MBA that helped me secure a virtually unheard of 50% jump in salary, followed by an equally impressive jump later. I've seen this strategy also work with many of the women I've coached. Once they started being deliberate in how they developed and applied their own unique combination of multipliers, I saw them accelerate their career advancement and their earning capacity. So here's how we can help. We've come up with our five most effective questions to help you determine your own career multipliers and to get you thinking about how to create your unique career combination lock to differentiate and elevate your value proposition. One, what experiences have I had outside of what's typical in my field? Did you organize student events at college or were you on the debate team? These skills could help you add value in what you already do for your organization. Do you have experience with different cultures or have you traveled extensively? Can you leverage experience from another industry? Two, what unique training and education do I have in my toolbox and how can I proactively leverage it? In 2010, I was engaged by the G20 hosts for presentation and moderation coaching and to write the welcome speech to heads of state. Through casual conversation, the decision makers also learned of my background in sustainable technology and my keen interest in macroeconomics. So I combined this with my persuasion training and authentic desire to be of value to win another major contract as an official environmental and economics policy advisor to the government for the G20 conference. So this is another example of how you can combine your unique skills and education in order to add value and to do something really interesting. Three, what hobbies, interests, and life experience could give me a unique edge? 
Singing and becoming a champion Latin dancer gave me an edge in confidence, gesturing and voice projection, allowing me to deliver high standard keynote presentations. A passion in psychology allowed me to write a best-selling book on Amazon. There are always things that you can bring beyond skills that you've developed or you regularly apply in your immediate role. Four, what are the gaps in my field? I recently came across a talented lady who identified a gap in marketing services for medtech startups and the medical industry in general. And she leveraged her science and marketing qualifications and her experience to position herself as a healthcare marketing specialist. The medical field is highly regulated and almost any marketing firm doesn't have the in-house expertise to deal with that. So it was a brilliant gap in the marketplace for her to serve. And five, what unique and marketable skills can I learn reasonably fast? Entrepreneur and author Tim Ferriss highly recommends three easily attainable career multipliers for competitive advantage. Public speaking, effective writing, and the ability to negotiate. So is there a way that you can upskill in one of these areas? If there's one thing we've learned in our work with professionals and entrepreneurs all around the world, it's this. We all have the ability and the power to reflect on, to identify, and then leverage our unique combination lock of skills and strengths. And if you do this and do it well, it will accelerate your career development, multiply your influence, and will help you stand out. I'm Shade Zarai, and I'll see you next time.